Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is Lauren here, and today I'll be sharing with you a very special recipe of mine. Brings me back to when I was a kid, but it's got some grown-up tastes to it. Today, I'll be making a Fiesta Bison Bake. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> when you think of Fiesta, what do you think of? You think of music? You think of dancing? Well, in this case, we're talking Fiesta food. It's going to be beefy and cheesy and creamy and spicy. And we're going to change it up a little bit. We're not going to use ground beef. I'm going to start out with a pound and a quarter of ground bison. Whoop, there we go. I'm going to add that into some onions that I started sweating to get that cooking. So I was saying, it was, reminds me of when I was younger. When I was younger, one of my favorite, favorite mo feel things to eat was actually a frozen dinner. And it was those frozen dinners, the little frozen snack meals that had pasta and tomatoes and some cheese in it. And that was my absolute, absolute favorite. So I decided, you know, as I grew up an adult and I turned this into something a little bit different and a lot more homemade. And in all actuality, it's not that much more difficult. So I've got my bison cooking up. Got a pot of boiling salted water in the back here. Let's go ahead and add some pasta shells. Make sure you give that a good stir real quick. There you go. This meal is super easy, super flavorful, and super tasty. And you can't remember the other part? Super cheesy. You know where the cheese is going to come from? It's going to come from some shredded cheddar, but also my secret ingredient. You can see I love this ingredient. It's Kraft Philadelphia Cooking Cream. It's a spoonable, creamy, yummy, delicious cream cheese that you can add to just about anything. Look at that. Soft, spoonable. It's perfect for sauces and combinations. Today, so you can see it, I'm going to be using the original blend because I've got some tomatoes that are already fully spiced and all of that. It's got some green chilies, so I want to focus on the chili and the cheddar and the bison flavor. So I'm going to use the Kraft Philadelphia Cooking Cream Original to add the flavor that I want and the creaminess I want. Oh, uh, let's see. You know what else we have? We got three other flavors of Kraft Philadelphia Cooking Cream. Since I got a minute while the uh, bison is cooking up here, I'll tell you a little about them. You've got the Santa Fe blend, which has got some good southwestern flavors and spices to it. You've got Italian cheese and herb. Yummy, yummy for pastas and all of that. And the savory garlic, which my personal favorite. I love to make a sauce out of it with a little bit of butter and a little bit of milk and throw it on some roasted potatoes and green beans. It's yummy, yummy, yummy to die for. You would not believe how good this is. All right, we got the bison cooking up. Now I decided to go with bison rather than the uh, typical ground beef, just to change things up a little bit. And we went to a restaurant recently that served bison, and their bison burgers were probably one of the best things I have ever eaten. So I've decided I went to the store, and I'm like, huh, there's a little bit of bison there. Let's give this a shot. So I added it to my macaroni and spicy beef mixture. Oh, it's just wonderful. It's the perfect addition without taking away from any one of the single components. And you know what, when we were talking to the people there, a lot of people say that ground bison is actually leaner than ground beef. So I am always all for having a little bit more lean. So I'm gonna get this finished browning up, it's just about done. Get this browned up and drained off the little bit of extra fat. And we'll put together our casserole, and it'll go in the oven. I've already got it started to 350, so it'll be put together in dinner time before you know it. 
Okay, we're back, and we are going to put together our Fiesta Bison Bake. So here's my ground bison with onions that I've drained. Add in my nice curly pasta. And I've got some diced tomatoes here with a bunch of mild green chilies that have been drained. There we go. Because I want to make sure that all my ingredients are fully incorporated and fully mixed. We're going to dump this whole thing into a big bowl. There we go. Didn't lose too many there. So now let's add in our nice creaminess with the Kraft Philadelphia Cooking Cream Original. I'm going to dump the whole tub in here. Between this and the cheddar, it's going to be so gooey and so yummy and so cheesy. You're going to love it. Got a couple cups of ch uh, shredded cheddar. I'm going to put most of it in here. I'll leave just a little bit out behind because we're going to have a nice cheesy layer on top. Can't put stuff in, with cheese in it in the oven and not have a nice, beautiful, cheesy top layer. Let's get this stirred up and mixed together. So let's get this poured into our nice large casserole dish. And this dish will definitely fill, fill and feed an entire family which is definitely not something anybody is going to complain about. We've got the good protein, the good fats, the good cheese, the good creaminess. And for those of, the, of you out there that are like me, that love a nice kick to anything, the spicy diced tomatoes with the chilies would be just perfect. Now for our reserve cheese, it's a nice beautiful sprinkle there. Now if you really were in a huge rush, you probably could, you know, do this and stick it under the broiler for just a couple of minutes since everything in here is cooked and ready to go. But I think it'd be better and a lot easier if you just set the oven to 350 like I have and leave it in there for about 20 minutes. That's a perfect time to, you know make a salad or go have a cocktail or you know if you have guests over go spend some time with them while this is cooking in the oven right beautiful cheesy layer let's get this into the oven excuse me ruby got a dog in the way here there we go and a short simple 20 minutes later we're gonna be good to go so i'll see you soon here is our beautiful, ooey, gooey, cheesy Fiesta Bison Bake. Oh, it looks wonderful. I'm going to have to dig into this really quick. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Now, I'm really, really looking forward to the spiciness of the green chilies and my tomatoes. But if you're not a spicy person, feel free to change up the recipe. Make it work for you. Make it work for the people you're cooking for. You could easily use regular diced tomatoes or even diced tomatoes with the basil and oregano already mixed in. Put in a little bit of the Italian cheese and herb cooking cream and you'll be ready to go in no time. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm so excited. Cheesy. We got cheddar. Look, look at what the cooking cream did. It just soaked up in all of that. It's just one beautiful, cheesy, everything. Hmm. Now that is a fiesta. Cheesy, gooey, soft, beefy, very spicy. Just perfect. 